I'm going to transition from MC mode to presentation mode. Thank you. Again, um, my name is Jason Hibbets. I'm a project manager at Red Hat, and I'm responsible for uh, opensource.com. So you're hearing a lot of great stuff about that today. And uh, I'm going to talk to you about how do you can take some of this cool open source knowledge and bring it to your local government. So I found a very interesting way to, um, to kind of capture three of my passions together. My passion for open source, my passion for my local community, which happens to be Raleigh, North Carolina, and my passion for um, civic participation. And that comes in the form of open government. And, uh, and when people hear government, I think they think of all the bad things. They think uh, lobbying, or they might just think of something like just they vote once a year, or how, how whatever that, um, however they take that. But for me, um, government is about civic participation. And really, when I say that, I mean uh, getting citizens activated and getting them interested into government and making government work more for them. Make it more of a two-way conversation with, with our elected officials and, and really with the city staff that um, supports all the different functions that cities do. So if you remember, uh, after President Obama took office, one of the first things he did was to enact the Open Government Initiative. And there's three core things that uh, were part of that. Uh, transparency, participation, and collaboration. And those should sound really familiar to us because we use them every day in open source. So what I want to do today is kind of take you down what I call the path to the open source city. It's a lot of things that are happening locally in uh, the city of Raleigh, and um, I want to share the, some of those stories with you today. And so before we get started, um, I know we're at an open source conference, but just for the purposes of this presentation, most of us are familiar with open source in, uh, in the software context. Um, you know, for me, it's using free software or, or um, mostly free software that the source code is available to, for you to modify uh, and contribute back to. But for me, open source is more than just a software development model. Uh, it's really just a way of life. And so I kind of bundle all, the, all this terminology, collaboration, transparency, meritocracy, rapid prototyping into one term, which I call the open source way. And a lot of other folks use it. So my story really began when I got an interview with the Raleigh mayor, Charles Meeker, and uh, sat in his office and did an interview. And we kind of had this discussion around what an open source city would look like. So we shared our story with the world on opensource.com. Shortly after that, I got involved with a movement called City Camp. City Camp is an international unconference series that brings um, open government to local municipalities and really is a, an activation for citizens um, who are interested in technology. And so um, we've had a, an event two years in a row, very successful. Uh, these are some of the volunteers that put it together. And um, one of the best things that came out of City Camp from last year was a project called Triangle Wiki. Triangle Wiki is a uh, a hyper-local version of Wikipedia just for the um, Research Triangle Park region uh, in North Carolina. It's created by um, the, the folks uh, that live there for the people that live there. And it runs on an open source platform called Local Wiki. And uh, really where this um, project took off was on February 25th, we held a Triangle Wiki Day. We had over 50 people show up at 9 o'clock on a Saturday morning, including two city councilors and our planning director. And we created over 100 new wiki pages, added a ton of new images, uh, and really had a very successful kind of community building day. Well, shortly after that, um, the city of Raleigh passed an open government directive. And it accomplished two things. First, it put open source software on an equal playing field with its proprietary um, friends, or not friends. Uh, and second, it committed the city of Raleigh to create an open data portal. Well, not only did they just commit to it, they actually put their money where their mouth is, and after they had made that announcement, they allocated $50,000 towards um, the development of that portal. They didn't stop there. Um, they enacted this thing called My Raleigh Subscriptions. It's an email subscription program that allows citizens to opt in to things that they are interested about from the city. Uh, it saved me a ton of email, and it's been very successful. Well, to carry on with the open data portal, um, Raleigh recently announced um, the Open Raleigh portion, and this is basically um, where the open data portal will live. Uh, it's where developers and citizens can go find the data. It's where they can find different applications that interact with the data, and also how they can get more involved with the community. So City Camp, for me, has been a catalyst, and I don't have a, uh, time to talk about all these different things today, but a lot of the people involved with City Camp are involved with these other pieces, and we're also advocates for all these other components. So what is an open source city? Uh, several things, but for me, it's um, basically a hub. Uh, I like to see the city of Raleigh be, uh, attract more open source cities, uh, excuse me, more open source companies, uh, whether that's uh, companies relocating or companies um, that are going to be starting up. It's really more, too, about the culture, uh, supporting uh, media, uh, user groups, 
and, uh, and supporting um, the, the, the culture that we already have. And I think I'm out of time. So, um, but really, I wanted to share those stories with you today, um, hopefully to give you uh, an idea of uh, a way you can take open source and apply it um, to government. So thanks for your time.